Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is February 13, 2023. And today is Monday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the question is, is Meta trying to fill the gap? After we had that gap up, we're going to take a look at it just a second. But first, no major economic event scheduled for today. So as we look at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, we're watching the US dollar gain versus the major pairs, specifically the Japanese yen and the euro. When we look at the indices, it's a complete disarray. The Nasdaq retraces while the Dow Jones actually trades higher. Now looking at commodities, gold retraces to minor support while oil retraces at that resistance ish level and sells off. Now looking at the stock, Tesla also trickling down after having a really decent week. And lastly, looking at Bitcoin dipping further below and retracing. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're looking at the Euro USD. You can see that it trickled down to 106. 70 ish level and that is a decent trickle from its 110. I mean all in all the forex symbols have been specifically very volatile and uh, we haven't seen this in like five or six years that they've been this volatile in such short time periods. I mean if we look at a longer time period you can actually appreciate that much more if we look at a weekly you could see that in 2019 we traded sideways we mostly traded maybe between 111 and 107, 105, you know, but ever since we hit Corona, you know, we, we, we rallied all the way back up to 122 and then from 122, we went to 97 and then, you know, coming right back. So this is the deal. Okay. We capitulated at 110. That was the top. Now we should be going back to about 50% retracement. Now that might not happen today okay obviously but that may still happen or this is going to be a bull flag so keep that in mind as the euro is trading versus us dollar with japanese japanese yen you can see also we're at 132 we retraced all the way down to 127 so that's also 500 pip move that's that's serious moves in the forex symbols okay and remember your margin is much greater or your really leverage is much greater when it comes to trading the forex symbols so that is an advantage now looking at the other markets starting out with gold gold was just retracing at that minor support right here it looks like it's going to start breaking it if we look at oil if it does break it then we could see ourselves back into that 1830 that's the next real supportish level right there as you could see that that was previous resistance sub subsequent support and that is some noise and so keep an eye on this okay because if it does break lower it will continue with some gusto and you will have a decent move on the way down now looking at crude oil we retraced from 80 dollars a barrel down to 78 not a big deal but we're still trading within that range you know your tradable range is 82 to 72 dollars anything in between you don't want to touch maybe you want to unload but you don't want to touch and get into a trade outside of that at least for now now looking at the u.s market starting out with the dow jones we did gain as you can see made some market back up last week from 33,600 to 33,800. Well, it's a little bit of a sell off this morning, but nothing big. Looking at the NASDAQ, though, did sell off and did close. It's making its way back now, so it's making back some of that real estate. Today is going to be a very important day for those stocks because it'll really give us a gauge whether or not we're making them back or not. Now, let's look at the stocks, okay? So we spoke about specifically Facebook, okay? So this is something to really consider, okay? We had this gap up. Let's take a look at that quite specifically. This is Facebook. This is the gap up. We went from 148 up to 178. That's a $30 move, okay, as a gap up. And now we broke that initial gap up opening, which was 182-ish level, and now we're breaking below it. So we still have some room down here from 173 down to 156. I'm not saying necessarily we're going to get there, but it is trickling down. And once you start, you know, making that headway and, you know, trickling down down to 152, you know, it's only a matter of time. So keep that as bay so for a possible trade. And now the other stock looking at is Tesla, where it did retrace after hitting that above $200 and then selling below 
at 196. So this is really an important level for it, okay? Because if it does show us that it was a true bull run, it should sustain itself and continue going higher. So this is something to consider as we go into today's session as well. And lastly, speaking of Bitcoin, just trickling down, holding that 21,500. But if it does break, then I do expect it, you know, to break further. Okay, that's usually what happens. Okay, so it's all about velocity, volume, and intensity. That's all the trading the markets are. And that's what we're seeing right here. This is Fed Raise. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.